Hello, my loves. I'm Ellie Frost. Thank you so much for being here. We are talking about the multi-dimensional approach to rapidly and radically healing and transforming during and after narcissistic abuse. And this video is about when the narcissist supply doesn't want them anymore right? I hate to call us supply sources, but that's what we are in this dynamic, right? Dehumanized sources of supply to the narcissist who is a soul detached human acting with an entity of consciousness that we're calling narcissism, which is why they all act in the same way. Now, people, we, we have projected our empathy on narcissists for far too long. And people even teach on this and they'll say things like they can't help it and they need supply as if they're going to somehow shrivel up and die without it. They don't need it to survive, right? They, they choose to do it to feed off other people's energy and trauma bond them but it's not like the narcissist would die the worst thing that would happen to a narcissist with no supply right when we go zero tolerance and no consent in the psychic realm is they'd have to have a spiritual awakening yeah and actually attach to their soul again and stop being a demon so this doesn't make them you know people talk about this like they need to do it that they can't help their behavior they absolutely can they know what they're doing. They know it hurts other people. They don't care. They think they're entitled to do it. It um it it fuels their it fuels the entity of consciousness that they're working with, right? That they're under the influence of. So what happens when the narcissist supply doesn't want them anymore. Okay, a few things. One is they're going to try and really hurt you. They want to be the most significant person in your life in the worst possible way. Why? Because that causes a trauma bond and makes your life all about them, that you don't get over it, right? And when you're very traumatized by someone and it's still living in you, please come into Sovereign to break this for good, right? Then they are feeding off that energy in the psychic realm. So they want to hurt you so bad, right? That's what they want to do. So when the narcissistic supply doesn't need them anymore, often they will try and hurt you so bad. The discard can do that. Um, their actions can do that. The smear campaign. So again, when a narcissist can't control you anymore, they're going to try and control how people perceive you. They will have an elaborate story about how you're the villain in this story, when actually they never wanted to build with you. They, you can't grow in this relationship. And that's a big thing why they're not sustainable, because we're here to evolve. Right. And you're on shaky foundations the whole time. You, there's no growth in a narcissistic dyna um, dynamic. There is just destruction of self. And so, which often can lead us to want to self-destruct. Yeah, it's not unusual for us to get um, I don't know what you'd like to say on YouTube, but, you know, un wanting not to be here anymore, basically, in these dynamics, it, it, it pushes you so low, right? Because the subconscious programs are that you don't matter and you don't exist. You are a disposable, dehumanized object for the narcissist to siphon energy off. It's pretty gross, right? So what I want you to know is not to fear them, right? The best way when you don't want them anymore is is to break the psychic ties, is to heal the traumas and wounds, right? And not to fear what they're going to do next, because unfortunately, a lot of us will spend our lives worrying about what will happen next, what they'll do next, if they've taken your children, if they've taken things that are precious to you. We worry about those. That's natural to do. But they're still having power and control over us emotionally, because most power and control comes from the mental, right? And the energetic. So we've just got to heal that right? I've got two modules in Sovereign on heart healing, which is really good at really doing this, right? It's, you know, <laughs> my program is not requiring you to go over and over and over again and get re-traumatized because just talking this out doesn't work. You can't solve a feeling with a thinking and trauma lives in us. So my processes are, are things that you do personally, right? In a supported environment that will actually heal you for real, right? So, while they know they can control your psyche, they will go for it and they'll want to punish you and they'll want to do something bad and they'll want to control how other people see you. I, I've moved out of whole communities twice just because it wasn't, you know, and that's so inconvenient. Like when you just got a place and, you know, all that stuff, like, and I, you know, it wasn't like I had the money to do it. It's that I knew that I had to survive. I would die there. Like literally, like it just couldn't take the bullying, couldn't take the abuse, couldn't, it just wasn't, you know, and I turned to authorities for help and I didn't get any because they don't really recognize this kind of abuse. And like, yeah, it just wasn't, 
it, it just wasn't going to work for me to be there. So sometimes we have to cut our losses big time. Yeah, I've been made homeless several times over this. Like sometimes we have to cut our losses big time and save ourselves. So I hope you're never in that situation. And like, you know, having the luxury of just, you know, not being in there really gives you an advantage, right? Because a lot of us have been almost destitute over this, right? Because the narcissist will try and break you emotionally, financially, physically, mentally, in every way, spiritually, right? They'll try and disconnect you from God. They will try and disconnect you from source. They will try and make you lose your faith in yourself, faith in other people, faith in the universe, faith in what you believe in, right? And whatever your religion is, right, you're all welcome here. And please, like, you know, I think we can all agree that there's something higher than ourselves. If you don't believe that, you don't believe that. But like, <laughs> you know, it's it's trying to break your spirit down, right? As well as everything else in your life. And of course, when people abuse you and try and make things difficult for you um, emotionally um, and financially and physically, then it's very hard to rebuild. And that's what the narcissist wants. The narcissist wants you to believe that they're the best you can ever get, right? And they've got such a low sound. I remember my ex said to me something like, I brought up about how badly he was behaving. And he said something like, well, it's not terrible. And I just sat there and thought, my relationship standard isn't just if it's not terrible. And by the way, it got terrible because with a narcissist, it goes one way downhill. But like, that's not our standard. Like, why aren't we trying to grow? I, I couldn't understand. I used to get myself in such a tears, like saying to him, I just want to build with you. I just want to improve this. I, you know, it's so frustrating for me because I'm so for personal development and growth. And of course, I'm dealing with the wrong thing. There's no growth there. There's just death, literally, right? On some level, death of our identity, death of our soul, death of our spirit, death of our vibrancy and our life force energy, right? So we don't want to fear the consequences because the whole dynamic is us walking on eggshells. We want to do what we have to do to protect ourselves. Sometimes you're going to have to cut your losses, but if you come into something like Sovereign, you're going to be well equipped and you're going to be equipped to manifest because when you are still carrying trauma, manifestation doesn't work, right? Because you're still vibrating at the level of trauma and we need a cleaner energy field. So I really teach you how to not just protect your energy but, and break trauma bonds and things, but actually be a better energetic match in the universe. So the last modules of Sovereign are all about manifestation. The price went down again, guys, so you can get in. It's the cost of two therapy sessions for a whole year of support. We had our call last night. It was amazing, yeah? Like, really, if you are serious about yourself, like, invest in yourself. I invested at the hardest financial times of my life, which is why I know that it's possible if you want to find a way you will. And, like, so many of us are just spending money on crap. Like, you know, especially this time of year that we don't need, that won't change our lives, that won't really, like, set to 2024 up for us in the best possible way if you're ready for that you need to get in there because it is just that intention you set to make a difference to yourself that support and community and life-changing work right will set you up for the best and we've had the worst in these cycles so why not you know it can get a lot better i love you lots of love please keep liking subscribing and sharing if you want to enter the draw for sovereign just share a video and email me that you've done it that winner will be drawn on january 1st lots of love guys i'll speak to you soon